Uh, Jonathan Schrager here for seconds out, I'm joined today by Jamie Moore, just following the uh, Glory Road uh, event there at Fernsey Arena. How are we doing, Jamie? Yeah, not too bad, are you? Lovely. Obviously, just a quick update on, on your health and everything, your recovery. Yeah, doing well. You know, back back to work now. Just been, uh, obviously, done the full show and uh, in a little bit, you know, awkward pain sort of thing, you know, still, because yeah. I have no feeling in my left foot yet right. or movement. Um, which is just my nerves going into trauma because of what happened. Yeah. So, uh, but they said I'll get that back within you know sort of three to six months. So it's only been six weeks. So I reckon within the, the next six or seven weeks I'll uh, yeah. I'll be back to sort of full health then. So, right. Full health, uh, literally, as in you'll be able to just get back in the gym. Perhaps. Oh yeah, I'll be doing it. Yeah. You know, fingers crossed, everything goes as planned. But uh, they're, they're saying that I'm healing quicker than normal because I'm fit and healthy. Yeah. So you know, it's good. That's just. Added to the, uh, to the. Obviously, I'm I'm a stubborn person, so yeah. I would have I would have been sort of pushing to get better anyway. But you know, me my health and fitness is helping me do that, so it's a, it's a bonus. Lovely. Um, and just obviously a couple of words about tonight's event. Generally, uh, quite a successful night for for the Manchester fighters. Yeah. Uh, Denton Vassell aside, um, how do you assess? You know, the I thought it was a very tonight? good show. I, I thought early doors when uh, Scotty Cardo blasting him out in the first round I thought oh, you know it's going to be one of them shows where there's loads of uh, early finishes and it's a, it's a bit of a it's sort of disappointment but far from it you know we've had some great fights yeah. Denton and Vassell showed so much toughness tonight but you know unfortunately Eginton just had that little bit too much freshness yeah. and I just think that that 15 month layoff didn't do him the, didn't do him justice because I think he's better than that and mm. I think he showed that he could have sort of weathered the storm early and come on later on but his time and his distance wasn't there yeah. um, it's going to be tough for him to come back now but I wouldn't mind seeing a rematch maybe obviously Eggins is going to be looking for, for a British title fight now but uh, for, you know in six more time if if Denton can rebuild and get, yeah. get a bit more time and distance with a, a few fights, I'd like to say a rematch, it was a cracking fight. It was, it was a belter. Um, and obviously, you know, the the fight that everyone wants to see now, Scott Quigg and Carl Frampton. Yep. Um, can you offer us a prediction on that one? Like how you think yeah, it'll play you know, out? I mean, Scott Quigg looks so strong and precise tonight. It's hard to go against him, but I've got to stick with my guns and go with Frampton because he, he looks so polished lately and he's had the better wins at a slightly higher level than Scott Quick. So he's got the, a better pedigree, you know, coming from his amateur background and stuff. And he just seems like a, a such a rounded pro now. I'm not saying that Scott Quick isn't, yeah. but I just think that he just edges it for me. Not with any confidence, to be honest, you know, because yeah. I think that the better opposition Scott Quick fights, the better he'll perform. But I've just got to go with my gut instinct, and I just think that Frampton edges it for me. Yeah, and, and that sort of uh, sort of leads into another question. When I spoke to Johnny Nelson recently, I was asking him, as a Sky pundit, sometimes you, you know most of the fighters. Are, obviously, Scott's a local lad from yeah. Paris, so you'll know Scott. Is it difficult sometimes to, to as a pundit? To, of course, to, it's to, listen. You want to be impartial, but you, to, to, to do the, to do this job and to be in the position where you've you've come through the ranks with the lads. Yeah. You know, I'm quite young to, to be doing this. I retired five years ago and I'm 35. Yeah. So I've known these lads for a long time and I've boxed on the same bills as them. So it is difficult to pick against them, but they've got to understand. And they don't, I know they don't take it personally because I'm not a, a malicious person. Yeah. I've just got to give my honest prediction. And, you know, I can't I can't lie to myself because if I if I go if I pick somebody who who I really don't feel is going to win, yeah. You know, first of all, it isn't good for me for my job because what you know I'm picking I'm not a very good pundit if I'm picking the wrong sort of people and I'm not calling the fight the way it should be. So, you know, I've got to be honest and, and the lads don't take it personally because they know I'm only being honest and you know if if they're honest with themselves if I'm critical in any way and I don't really criticise people, it's constructive criticism. I'll only say something which they can improve on to make them a better fight. I'll just say, oh, he doesn't do this right, and that's it. Yeah. I'll say, you know, what he should be doing, really, to, you know, to get through things like that, he should be doing this, and it's, it's constructive. So, you know, Scott Quigg's a mate of mine, and it's, yeah. so it is difficult for me to go against him. But I've got to be honest, otherwise, I look like a, like a fanboy, and I, and I can't, I can't, you know, I've got to be honest with myself, I don't want to look like that. Yeah, yeah. And then um, just just a final question, really, on 
your beloved United. I know you're a red. Yeah. Uh, I'm a red as well, fellow red. Not not easy times at the moment, but no. looking positive as yeah, of tomorrow. Some, We've got some great we made some great signings, and I just think that um, if we can get a, a good solid centre half in the January window, then I think we're, a, we're an absolutely solid team now. Uh, we could be great now up front. I just I've got a little question mark defensively. Yeah. But I'm, I'm excited to see how, uh, how the new boys perform tomorrow. So you've got faith in LVG and you think we'll push for top four? I do. I do. Listen, he's a great manager and uh, if he can't come to the biggest club in the world and you know, turn around, I think we've got sort of two or three year window to turn it around really and get back to the top three at least. Yeah. Um, he's saying top three this season. That might be a bit far fetched, but you know, if we if we can get, get top three next year or the year after, I'll be happy with that because then we'll be, you know, transforming the team into a into a contender for the championship. And I think we're um, three or four years down the line, we'll be back where we was. Lovely, yeah. Well, obviously appreciate your time today, Jamie. No problem. Wish you a speedy recovery, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank Thanks. you, Jamie.